today's topic is how do humans give birth to babies or in other words we call it parturition so let us start with today's uh, topic so what are the learning outcomes of this lesson at the end of this lesson we will be able to know about the whole process of parturition with a detailed diagram so if i am describing with the diagram that pictures will be there in your mind so that you can uh know the process step by step in detail we will know about uh, the twins both the identical twins and the non identical twins so first we will start with parturition then we will move on to identical twins and then the non identical twins or the fraternal twins so let us see what is parturition now in this video we are discuss discussing about the the main points of parturition so what is happening at 40 weeks of pregnancy the uterus it starts undergoing some rhythmic contractions which is called the labor and this labor is actually initiated with the help of several hormones which are being secreted from the ad increase of adrenocorticotropic hormone secretion actually this increases from the fetal adrenal cortex and this androgens which are in turn converted to increase in estrogens in the uterus cause the release of prostaglandins which initiate this contractions so adrenocorticotropic hormones which are actually helping the secretion of androgens which in turn secretes estrogens and the prostaglandins are secreted with initiate this rhythmic contractions so this is mainly a full hormonic uh, sequence of events which is happening for the uterus to contract rhythmically now then what happens the amniotic uh, fluid comes out or the amnion bursts uh so if you remember the previous video i think you remember that the baby was inside a sac which was called the amniotic sac or amnion which bursts at this time and the amniotic fluid is discharged and the uterus contracts so powerfully that it wants to push the baby out or expel the baby so for that the cervix or the mouth of the uh, uterus should be a uh, little bit it should open up now then the baby is uh, as the baby is expelled from the body as soon as the baby is expelled the baby's lungs start functioning as it takes the first breath so the baby cries so as soon as it cries the first breath uh, it is taking its lung starts functioning and the umbilical cord is tied and cut so i think you remember the umbilical cord also which was supplying the uh, blood to the baby the uh, the maternal fetal system was connected through this umbilical cord now next uh, the lung bypasses close so that the blood flows to the lungs after the baby is born the placenta is also discharged after birth and the breasts which were developed they start producing milk so this milk production is also due to a hormone called oxytocin so oxytocin helps for the milk production so this details you will uh, study in higher classes as of now you just remember this at 40 weeks of pregnancy rhythmic contraction start which is mostly due to the action of prostaglandins which initiate contraction next comes the amniotic fluid is discharged amnion bursts uterus contracts powerfully and expels the baby now the baby's lungs start functioning and it uh, takes the first breath the umbilical cord is tied and cut the lung bypasses close so that the blood flows to the lungs the placenta is discharged after birth and the breasts start producing milk as the oxytocin is produced in high amount in blood so let us see through a picture how this parturition takes place now in this slide we will see the diagram of parturition so see my red pointer over here this is the 9 month old fetus now it is in a position with its head down head is near the cervix 
which is the top part of the vagina now if you have not gone through the main parts of female reproductive system you will not get it clear so i am putting the link here up please do go through the main parts of the female reproductive system then only you will get this parturition process clearly so what is happening here here you can see this is the head part which has come near to the opening and uh, this is the cervix which is which should open and it should give this head to come out through this vagina now this is the pubic symphysis here comes the rectum here is the urinary bladder and this is the vagina and through this tract only the baby will come out and here the cervix should open up and here we can see at the base is the placenta so what is the first stage of the birth see the cervix dilates and as the cervix opens the amniotic sac is ruptured so the amniotic fluid flows out so as soon as the amniotic fluid is uh, coming out of this vagina so that is the perfect time when the baby also will be pushed by the uterine contractions now in the third second stage of the baby the baby emerges out and the head has come out uh, uh, so the head of the baby has come out through the cervix and it will pass through the vagina and the baby's birth is completed now what is the third stage so this is third stage of the birth is after the child birth the umbilical cord is tied and cut and from here the placenta also it moves out after birth so this that organ which was formed for the fetal and maternal transfer of um, the nutrients blood and all that will also be pushed out through this vagina so this is the st third stage of birth which is expelling uh, after birth that is umbilical cord is tied and uh, cut and the placenta is also expelled so is it clear with everyone any doubts please do write in the comment box please do ask me queries now in distance learning i can't uh, answer your questions as you are not visible to me so ask it so that i can answer to your questions uh, in the next uh, slides so please uh, don't uh, feel any problem in asking questions feel free and ask questions so let us see what is there in the next slide now in this slide we will uh, discuss that how do twins occur now till now we have been discussing about one ovum is uh, being fertilized by one sperm and the birth of a baby or the fertilization is happening implantation is happening and then parturition or the birth of a baby happen so what if uh, so here usually one ovum is released during one reproductive cycle we all know that we have studied about the menstrual cycle those who have not studied yet the menstrual cycle and the parts of reproductive system please go go through it i am giving the link up above uh, now if this ovum is fertilized only one baby is born that we know but sometimes more than one egg is released and fertilized by more than one sperm so all at times an ovum may divide into two or more separate cells after fertilization so after fertilization during the formation of that uh, morula and blastocyst so there the ovum may divide into two or more separate cells so this is how the triplets twins quadruplets are produced so if you are liking my videos i like to say you again please do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like and share my videos so that your friends may also get benefit from this videos and that they can learn few new things at uh, this crucial time uh, staying at home and they can utilize this time for their 10th standard preparation so let us see how this uh, identical twins and non identical twins are uh, formed now in this slide you can see this picture see both this cute babies look almost similar to each other so they are identical twins and they are formed as a result of a fertilized egg or you can say the zygote which is separating into two cells a set of cells both of which they continue to divide till the implantation has happened so this two identical embryos has come from the same egg 
or the sperm so they are looking all alike so the same egg or the same sperm has divided into uh, this two sets of cells so that they are looking both alike and they are of same sex and they are called monozygotic twins now there another type of uh, twins we will see that is called the non identical or fraternal twins let us see in the next slide now here you can see these are non identical fraternal twins and one is girl and one other one is boy so how it has happened generally non identical twins they occurs when two eggs are accidentally released from the two ovum which is generally not the usual thing which should happen so this is an abnormality when two eggs are released and at the same time two sperms are fertilizing those two eggs then they do not uh, resemble physically also each other and as uh, the they develop from two different zygotes so two different zygotes are there and two different zygotes get implanted separately in the uterus or the endometrium so they may be of different sex and they are called dizygotic twins so the previous one they were formed of a single zygote after many uh, sets of cell divisions but it is formed from two different zygotes and they may be of different sex they may be of same sex also but they'll not look identical they do not resemble physically uh, so they are called dizygotic twins so as of now we have completed reproductive system in full so next uh, topic uh, we will come up with a new topic and as of now please go through this full reproductive system uh, first i have discussed with the male reproductive parts then the female reproductive parts then all uh, the different stages of uh, fertilization implantation parturition and this is how the twins occur so this is all uh, followed uh, from the icsc portions so please go through it and i think it you will get uh, benefited from it and if you please uh, like it do subscribe and don't forget to like and share so uh, thanks a lot and please uh, keep on uh, studying my updates